Mike Tyson and Jake Paul's recent fight on November 15, 2024, captured the world's attention. A legendary heavyweight champion versus a YouTube returned boxer, it was a clash that blended nostalgia with modern-day spectacle. But as the dust settled, fans and critics alike began to question, was the fight real? Or was it merely a show designed to rake in millions? Let's unpack the buildup, the fight itself, and the controversies that followed. The pre-match hype, legends and influencers collide. In the weeks leading up to the fight, Mike Tyson became the focus of countless discussions. At 58 years old, his age was a major talking point, but his training videos told a different story. Footage showed Tyson hitting pads with blistering speed, his jabs sharp and his footwork surprisingly agile. The ferocity in these clips reminded fans of the Tyson who dominated boxing in the late 80s and early 90s. On the other side was Jake Paul. At 27, Jake had spent years cultivating a polarizing persona. His boxing career, though often ridiculed, boasts victories against former MMA fighters and fellow influencers. Critics dismissed him as a clout chaser, but his fight record of 9 to 1 and undeniable work ethic demanded attention. The fight against Tyson promised to be his biggest challenge yet, and a spectacle that transcended traditional boxing. Yet even before fight night, there were whispers of skepticism. Could Tyson still compete at a high level after so many years? And, more importantly, would the fight be genuine, or just another chapter in Jake Paul's carefully curated saga of internet-breaking events? Fight night, the legends enter the ring. November 15th arrived, and the atmosphere inside the AT&T Stadium in Texas was electric. With 80,000 fans in attendance and millions more watching via Netflix's live stream, the stage was set. Tyson entered to thunderous applause, his reputation as a cultural icon undiminished by the decades. Jake Paul, ever the showman, made his entrance with a mix of bravado and calculated theatrics. From the first bell, the fight played out in ways that left many puzzled. In the initial rounds, Tyson showed flashes of his old self, quick jabs, precise movements, but he lacked the ferocity that once defined him. Jake Paul, meanwhile, was cautious but landed enough punches to score points. By the middle rounds, the pace slowed, with Tyson appearing fatigued. Openings for his signature power punches came and went, but he didn't capitalize. The fight ended after eight two-minute rounds, with Jake Paul winning via unanimous decision. The scorecards favored Paul significantly, and while he celebrated his victory, Tyson remained gracious in defeat, even embracing his opponent. Age or Strategy Examining Tyson's Performance One major debate centers around Tyson's performance. Was it his age that hindered him, or was there something more strategic, or even staged, at play? At 58, Tyson was undoubtedly at a physical disadvantage. Boxing at a professional level demands incredible stamina, and age naturally diminishes speed, reflexes, and endurance. Tyson's training videos may have showcased moments of brilliance, but sustaining that intensity for an entire fight is a different story. However, many fans argue that Tyson didn't even attempt to win. Despite clear openings to land devastating blows, he held back. For a fighter known for his aggressive style, this was uncharacteristic. Some point to this restraint as evidence that the fight wasn't entirely authentic. The money factor, a $60 million payday. One undeniable aspect of the event was the financial incentive. Jake Paul earned a staggering $40 million, while Tyson walked away with $20 million, a sum that some believe Tyson needed desperately. Over the years, Tyson has been open about his financial struggles, including bankruptcy and bad investments. A payday of this magnitude could help stabilize his finances and fund future ventures. For Jake Paul, the fight was another opportunity to solidify his status as a crossover star. Love him or hate him, Paul's ability to generate attention and money is unmatched in today's sports and entertainment landscape. By securing a win against Tyson, he added legitimacy to his boxing career, ensuring that future bouts would attract even larger audiences. Was it staged? The growing controversy speculation that the fight was staged gained traction almost immediately. 
Several viral clips show moments where Tyson appeared to hold back, refraining from throwing punches that could have turned the tide. Critics argue that the fight was choreographed to ensure both men walked away with their reputations and bank accounts intact. Adding fuel to the fire, some fans pointed out inconsistencies in Tyson's energy levels. How could someone who looked so sharp in training videos seem so lethargic in the ring? Was it all an act to give Jake Paul a believable victory? Social media has been abuzz with theories. Some fans believe Tyson intentionally lost to set up a future rematch or a fight with Jake's brother, Logan Paul. Others think the fight was designed to maximize profits for both fighters and Netflix, which streamed the event to a global audience. Public reaction, a divided fan base. The boxing community and fans remain deeply divided. Supporters of Jake Paul argue that he deserves credit for stepping into the ring with a legend and emerging victorious. They see his victory as a testament to his growth as a boxer and his ability to compete at a high level. Detractors, however, dismiss the fight as a spectacle devoid of authenticity. Some view it as disrespectful to the sport of boxing, reducing it to a money-driven performance rather than a genuine competition. For these critics, Tyson's subdued performance and Paul's victory only reinforce the idea that modern boxing is increasingly influenced by entertainment value over athletic integrity. The aftermath, what's next for Tyson and Paul? In the days following the fight, both fighters addressed the outcome. Tyson downplayed the loss, stating that he wasn't done with boxing and even hinting at a potential match against Logan Paul. For Jake, the victory further cemented his status as one of the most talked-about figures in sports and entertainment. But the lingering question remains, was the fight a turning point for Jake Paul's boxing career or just another highly orchestrated event designed to generate headlines and money? The Tyson vs. Jake Paul fight encapsulates the current state of boxing, a sport that now often blurs the lines between competition and entertainment. Whether you believe the fight was authentic or staged, there's no denying its cultural impact. It brought together fans of different generations, reignited discussions about Tyson's legacy, and showcased Jake Paul's knack for staying in the spotlight. But as fans continue to analyze every punch and every missed opportunity, one thing is clear, this fight will be remembered not just for what happened in the ring, but for the questions it raised about the future of boxing itself. What do you think? Was this fight staged, or did Jake Paul truly earn his victory? Let's continue the conversation.